Coucou les amis. That is literally my least favorite French expression. I don't even know why I just started my video with it. That, which I think is more of like a France French expression. Coucou les amis. I just hate anything les amis. I think it's from being in like French daycare when I was a little kid. Um, and my other least favorite French expression. This is a weird tangent right from the start. Um, my other least favorite French expression is a very colloquial uh, slang, which is um, tigidou. And I still haven't figured out what the context is for using it. Not that I would ever want to, but it's like something my grandmother or my aunts would say. And it's, it's so like, Quebecois colloquial. It's actually called joal. It's um, it's like our slang, which is like really old French, um, because you know Quebecers like we come from like we're like from like the first like wave of French people from like sometimes from like the 1600s or like the 1700s. So um, some of our French sounds really really archaic to people from France, or we sound like their grandparents or like the very you know provincial small towns or whatever okay so that was a really strange um segue into talking about etain which is my spot treatment which has a french name and i guess that's why i was sort of thinking about french um just want to do a little shout out to my hair i'm kind of loving the texture and like wildness of it on this super hot humid day i just uh filmed my video for sahara and it's it was too hot to like heat style my hair today um so it was just air dried and i drove the car and so it's like it's wild but i just dry shampooed it and i'm kind of digging it although my bangs are about to get really curly so um yeah go dry shampoo go sahara so it is uh okay well first of all the word the etymology comes from éteindre the verb éteindre which means to extinguish so um éteindre would be past tense or participe passé or I don't really remember exactly it's been a long time since I've studied French grammar but it is it's like fait accompli, like it's it's happened, right? So um, when I was thinking about how to name this product, I was I, I remember I was sitting in my day bed and I was like, what are the what are the images coming to mind um, with acne, with a pimple? Like how do how does it make me feel when I have one? How do I refer to them? And I've always um, thought about and talked about pimples as being volcanoes <laughs> because they're they're hot and they're inflamed and they have stuff to come out and just I find that um you know if pimples if pimples were something geographic they would be it would obviously be volcanoes right and I even have a blog post that maybe I'll link to um where I think I'm making the same comparison it's from like a few years ago so I was thinking about uh, you know, words like magma or lava or, I don't know, <laughs> just all kinds of like geographic references, but it didn't sound soothing enough, but I love, then the word etain just sort of like popped into my head and um, I loved it because it sounds very, like it sounds very soothing and it is, it's a soothe, it's like, it's soothed, you know, it's been extinguished and it sounds better than extinguished, I think. Um, so that's, that's how you pronounce it is etain, etain. So you don't pronounce some of the letters. That's what drives my husband crazy about French. Um, he's like, why, why are there so many letters in the words that you just don't pronounce? I'm like, just the way it is. <laughs> he speaks Spanish, so it's like very, um, what's the word? Uh, phonetic, phonetic, is that how you would say it? Like where like you actually do pronounce every single letter, but in French you don't. So. Again, I'm just segue into into like a uh, talk about language. So etain is a super strong cocktail of essential oils. This is the highest percentage of essential oils that I could make in a facial product. So I went to nearly five percent, which is more than I would use in um, a facial product or like a you know like a facial oil or um, a balm. But because it is a spot treatment and you are to literally only use it on spots, 
You're not going to put it on your whole face. So it's in a base of Stark's um, Evergreen Complex, which um, I'll have to like link to what that is all about because that it's basically it's my custom infusion of seven different herbs in three different types of oil and it's this whole process triple filtered and takes a really long time for me to make um as well as it's in a base of neem which is extremely strong antibacterial uh oil that's also a good insecticide not insecticide but like you know like a like bug spray actually you can use it as insecticide you can like literally spray it in your garden <laughs> <laughs> it would keep bugs away. Um, and about 20 different kinds of essential oils. And now I'm not going to go through all of them. I've got my formulating book here. I'm going to show you guys. This is this moleskin is the most valuable thing I own. For real. So um, there is French lavender in it. There is... Litsea, Cubeba, and tea tree, myrtle, and thyme, and helichrysum, frankincense, patchouli, labdanum, all kinds of different, there's more, <laughs> and it's, um, it, they're all chosen for their antibacterial properties, also for their soothing capabilities, um, so they work to treat the inflammation, they work to treat the P. acneus bacteria that's on your skin whenever you're in your skin whenever you are having an inflammation um, a pimple um, so it's dealing with the inflammation it's dealing with the specific bacteria and then it's also helping with the post-inflammatory infl post acne inflammation and um, the scarring so if you are prone to the post-inflammatory scarring which I am I'm gonna show you I'm not wearing makeup today so you might be able to see mm. you see that's from a pimple that I had. I've actually been breaking out a lot this summer, so I've been able to use it quite a bit, and um, it's reduced my pimple, you know, the inflammation time to down to one day. So my average would probably be three days or four days, and it's cut down the time dramatically. Um, so of course, like, no skincare product is a miracle worker. It's not going to you know, completely undo something in like an hour. But I've found as an overnight treatment, um, as something to wear under your SPF, just a tiny little drop, um, it's really, really cut down on how long I stay inflamed, how long it's red for, how long it takes um, for the pus to come out. And um, also it really, really helps with the scarring afterwards. So um, if you have, similar skin type skin type to my own you're someone who gets the the breakouts um you know once in a while and they tend to last and they tend to not fade easily very annoying um i've found that this has been really 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 beneficial so i hope you do give it a shot and um take care of your skin bye